Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today it's time for the reaction for the song from Luxembourg. Finally, they are back in the game. I really don't know how many years I've heard it many times already. Is it 30 years? Something like that. If you're just here to see my reaction, check out the timestamp. There you can just skip forward because right now I'm going to talk about my daily life as always. Okay, so today was actually my first day with the Swedish phone number after yesterday I basically forgot about it. Well, in the morning I yeah didn't think about it, I just went to work and then I was like, oh, oops. And then in the evening I knew, like I remembered and I was like, why should I now do it when I already have Wi-Fi? So I basically took the, the SIM card with me to work, I switched it there. And then, yeah, I finally could use mobile internet, like mobile data again for free because the German one did charge me after four months. So, yeah, but it was good and I'm really happy that I have done it now. I also now finally have a Swish account. So Swish is basically now one of the things that I really need because in Sweden you don't use PayPal, you just Swish it to people. Like I have not tried it yet, but it seems like it, everybody uses this. And it also seems super convenient. But actually I also have to pay back certain people that I was not capable of doing before due to the fact that with my German number I could have probably used Swish, but there was this unknown... Um, question about if they might charge me because it's from a different country so i just waited and now it's time to pay to pay back <laughs> yes besides that well i continued with this program now i'm basically already in the tweaking stage of making my stuff work i'm getting better and better but we also had a sprint meeting today so i don't really had time to fully focus on it and i also kind of put the focus back on the first project that I was working on when I started at the company because it still is not released due to the fact that I'm waiting on other people. But hopefully this will be done in the next, I hope in the next week, maybe even this week. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to finally finish this whole thing until there might be changes in the card or in the software or whatever. And besides that, well, I have released this short little video on YouTube a few days ago and I also basically uploaded it in my WhatsApp story so that my family and people can see it. And <laughs> it was a bit funny because some of my family members were like, oh, what is going on? Why are you so sad? And things like that. So this is actually also a funny thing because when I was in school and we had German classes, I always hated to put an interpretation into certain written texts or poems. But now I really enjoy to do this my, on my own, you know, like you create something and you have like an obvious interpretation and then you also maybe have some more deeper meanings, but I'm not gonna tell you anyways. <laughs> but with that said, it is now time to go into the reaction of the song from Luxembourg. Hey guys, I'm LJ and today I will be reacting to Tali fighter the national song from luxembourg i have actually watched the national show but not the songs in general i have watched the voting and of course also saw tally winning and this was not my favorite in the first place i had a different song in mind i will include it in like one of those corners that you can check it out but now Let's focus on Tali and as always, first watching, then opinion and also my points. Let's go. A lot of hands in the beginning. Okay, that looks cool. Like the, the jump on the beat. That is my favorite part of the song when she is speaking so fast in French and I have just no idea what she is saying. 
I really think this is a difficult song. Like, it is so fast in certain parts. Oh. And now again the part. And I like that she's switching between English and French and you don't even notice if you don't listen to the lyrics. Okay, like I always like those parts when the person is just singing as a holding a certain note. Okay, that was Tali and her song Fighter. Well, I have to tell you guys, I have listened to this song so many times already. It is on my Spotify list and I think I have already reached a point where I think I am starting to don't like the song because I've listened to it, yeah, a lot. And still I try to get back this feeling of having this yeah, for like one of the first times. Like I said, the song is good. I like the parts, like especially those fast French. Na, 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 na. I like those parts and also when the people are jumping on the rhythm. But I don't think this is a unique thing that is needed for the Eurovision Song Contest. It's, it's a good song, but it's still in a certain way for me average. But a good above average, you know what I mean, hopefully. <laughs> um, but if I give this points, I think I'm very happy to give Tali seven points. And there's one thing where I really think that um, the song might get a good voting in the final, if she makes it to the final. Tali is a very charismatic person, so that, is one, that was one of the things why I started to like her song, because I always connect the song to the person. And if the person is very sympathetic, charismatic, then I also yeah, enjoy the song more, because I have this feeling of the person. I don't know. This is, maybe it's weird, but this is just my way, how I yeah, like to connect to songs. Okay, so what do you guys think from the song from Luxembourg? Do you think this is a great song? Do you think this is the best song Luxembourg could have sent? Feel free to write down your opinion in the comments. Also, if you want, you can include a number ranking from 1 to 10 so that we can maybe compare. And if you're done with that, we will see each other back tomorrow right here when it's time for the song from Malta. But until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.